Hello, and welcome to another video. So today, since it is December and the year is almost coming to an end, I am doing the 10 worst books I've read this year. Now, because I didn't read like that many bad books this year, so some of the books on the list are just like books that were okay. But you know, just like don't inspire me. I give it them like two and a half out of five stars, something like that. So they're not necessarily bad. They're just not for me and they're simply not great. So without further ado, let's go into the video. Okay, so this is how it's gonna go. Number 10 is the least worst and number one is the worst book I've read this year. Okay, so starting off at number 10 is Rebel by Marie Lu. Now I basically did a reread of the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu because I wanted to read this book and if I, I wanted to know what happened because if you've read the Legend Trilogy, you know the ending to Champion just like kills you so you have to know what happens next so that's why I got it and I actually wrote a review here on my journal so let's see what I thought about it it's not bad but the story feels too small compared to the other books the dialogue sounds fake and forced and the story between Eden and Dominic is very artificial and not well developed at all um, in terms of what the author clearly wants it to be so I didn't believe that relationship at all, um, but the relationship between June and Jay is entertaining. Basically, my thoughts are thank god that I read the trilogy before reading this book because I didn't remember anything and I wouldn't have liked it at all. And I gave this book a 7 out of 10, so it's not bad, but it's also not, not that good. Then at number 9 we have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Now I'm reading this trilogy just so I can watch the Netflix show, honestly because I've never really been interested in it because I know people give it like really bad reviews, but I just wanted to read it so I could know what all the hype was about when the Netflix show comes out, so I did and... I don't know, the writing is good, I really like Lee Bartigo's writing, but this story just like wasn't it and the characters weren't doing it for me. They felt so stale by the end of that first book. Um, so all in all, I give this one a 7 out of 10, which also isn't bad. Literally one of the only things I have written about this book is that nothing happens and I don't particularly like any of the characters. Then at number 8 we have, sadly, please don't kill me, don't come for me, we have Camp Jupiter classified by our beautiful, great Rick Riordan. Um, I think I've talked about this book enough in my October reading wrap up, so if you want to know my thoughts on it, just go watch it. Uh, yeah, I give this book a 6.5 out of 10. Because I thought this story was underwhelming and I thought it was going to have more of a bigger impact on the trials of Apollo as a whole, and it didn't, so that's that. Coming in at number 7 is The Prince and the Dressmaker. I also read that one in October and I talk about it in my October reading wrap up. So once again, check it out if you want to know more of my in-depth thoughts about it. I literally also gave it a 6.5 out of 10 stars. I actually went into this story thinking it was going to be about something completely different. So that kind of like took points away from the book for me, I guess. And I did like the art style, but the story just wasn't for me. Then at number 6 we have Skyki by James Frey. Now this is the third and final book in a trilogy. I actually started like around 2014. Um, I've been waiting to get this book for a long time and it did not do it for me. Besides not remember literally anything that happened, I had to do like a skim reread of the first two books. Um, the characters? I mean, spoiler warning for this one. Um All my favorite characters died. They killed them. I thought they were unkillable. But no, they literally just killed all of them. I was like, who does that? You, you can't kill like three fourths of your characters. You, you're not the you're not the author of Game of Thrones, okay? But yeah, James Frey really did that to us. This one, I think I also gave it a six point five out of ten. But now thinking back on it, I literally remember nothing about this book, only that it was a huge disappointment. So I might have to lower it to like a five out of ten, only because the story wasn't it the characters were really dull nothing was happening it was completely underwhelming compared to what um the big finale that the author had set up for us so that's that and let's move on to the next one coming in at number five is one that i also gave 6.5 
out of 10, which seems to be like the consensus for a book I don't like, I might have to higher my standards. Um, but this one goes to this book by Jay Kristoff. I'm sorry I forget the title in English because I have it in Spanish, so here you go. Now you know. Uh, basically, the story just like dragged on. Our two main characters like separated at the very beginning of the book and their interactions are what I like most about the book besides um, the protagonist and her animal sidekick. Yes, very exciting. Uh, but honestly, them not being together throughout the whole book made everything like slow down. The pacing was weird. Uh, we got introduced to, to some new characters I don't care about at all and I don't know, I think I'm going to read the last one just because I really really like the bond that the protagonist has with her flying tiger. So I might just read it for that because at the end of the day, this series does not stick with you. So the real reason why I wanted to do this video is because I read a book series that I really didn't like during quarantine. And please keep this in mind, I would not have read this book series if it hadn't been for quarantine and my need to ironically read something. So, during quarantine, I read The Twilight Saga. And yes, I did do it ironically, so please don't judge me for this. But basically, the top four spots are going to be Twilight books, so place your bets down below to see which one is going to be my number one worst book read in 2020. Coming in at number four is the one, the only, the book that started it all, Twilight. I think I gave this a 6.25 out of 10. Honestly, reading the book, I flew through it, even though I didn't like Bella and I didn't like Edward. I don't know, there's something about it that makes it so easy to read, and it's like a very quick read, even though like literally nothing happens. That's like why I'm so mesmerized with this series. I'm guessing it's because I'm not used to reading like a book that solely focuses on romance, but um, literally the whole plot surrounds their relationship and nothing can happen for like 20 pages and it's just them having a conversation. And somehow, I still kind of enjoyed it. Then coming in at number 3, we have... Eclipse, which I gave a 5 out of 10. Honestly, it just goes really downhill from here. Now, obviously, this book deserves like way less points than 5 out of 10. Uh, it deserves zero like the rest of the series because it's really, really problematic. For example, Jacob forcing himself onto Bella without her consent and when she's clearly saying like, dude, I don't like you, I don't want to kiss you. So it's all like a bunch of bullshit. Um, but yeah, all in all, this book it's horrible, do not recommend. If you want to like know what happens, watch the movie. At least there's some action in it. Like there's that's another thing about these books. There's no action in any of the books. Literally the only actions in the movie, they had to like force it in there because there was none in the book. Like all of the endings are so anticlimactic. Then finally coming in at number two, we have the very, very, very long Breaking Dawn. I also gave this a 5 out of 10, but now thinking about it, I might give it a 4.5 out of 10, just because that scene. <sighs> when Bella is giving birth, when she breaks her spine and then gives birth and like Edward tears her baby out of her, that was a little bit too much for me to read. It was so gory and so gruesome and gross and I wish I hadn't read that. So, before I unveil my number one top pick for worst book read in 2020, I have to give an honorable mention to two Twilight characters. Number one, my favorite Twilight character and the only one I would actually not mind meeting because they're not a horrible person is the one, the only, Emmett. Emmett is such a himbo and a simp and I love him so much for it. He, he literally does nothing wrong in the whole book series. Please like correct me down below if he does, but when I was reading the books I was like this man is literally the only unproblematic person out there. I love him because he keeps making fun of Bella and he's like an idiot, but I don't know. I just really like Emmett. Everything he said and everything he did I was like that's my man. Uh, second honorable mention, Seth is my child. He is so cute. I love him. Um, I loved him also in the movies. So 10 out of 10 for those two characters. And for everyone else, 0 out of 10. Even Charlie. Charlie lost so many points in Eclipse because 
when Bella told him that she punched Jacob because he kissed her without her consent, he was like, ha ha. That shouldn't be your response to that happening. And especially if she's your daughter. Finally, coming in at number one, what was my worst read of the year? New Moon. New Moon. What can I say about this book other than I gave it a 2.5 out of 10 and that feels like too much? Um, this book was really long, really thick, and nothing happened and Bella was a depressed robot for half of it which made me depressed and it was just not an enjoyable reading experience. Like, this book took me the longest to read out of the whole series and I don't mind the movie that much, it's just... I don't know, being in Bella's mind when she was just comatose for months. <sighs> so that's it. Those are my top 10 worst books I read in 2020. Like half of them are just like okay books, so they're not like that bad. And then the other half of them is the Twilight Saga. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments if you read any of these books in 2020 or uh, what are the worst books that you read in 2020. Leave a like, subscribe, click that bell icon so you get push notifications every time I post new videos. I post videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So if you want to get more from me, you know what to do. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!